Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here for RC Nightmare. Today I'm giving you a new unboxing. This is the Arma Raider. This is a two-wheel drive, 10th scale electric buggy. And it's not your standard buggy that you see from some of the other companies. This is a Baja style buggy. So it's got a really tight fitting body. It's got a lot of scale looks to it. I mean, let's open up and take a look. Again, yeah, so this is a ready to run kit. All you need to complete this is a running battery and charger. And so they give you that option so you can choose to go LiPo, which it is compatible with. The speed controller has a LiPo cutoff, as well as a standard nightcap or Nikomoto Hydrate. You can really go either way. That's how she comes in the box, tightly packaged. 2.4 gigahertz radio. Again, kind of a standard in RC, so you love to see that. And here she is, the buggy herself. And of course you get a little bag of some spare parts, tools, manual, exploded diagrams, everything you need to get upgrade replacement parts as the time comes. I want to take a look at the radio right away because this is kind of interesting. This is a pretty uh, pretty interesting looking radio. It's pretty unique. They have this uh, steering wheel that you can control almost any position where it sits all the way around to the other side if you control left-handed or if you prefer to race like this. I mean, just gives you one more functionality, I guess. It's really a different looking radio. Um, a few things I do like about this radio, it has a dual rate lever here digital steering trims and throttle trims of course. It's got a third channel clicker and the battery tray is just kind of convenient. Four double A's like we're used to seeing now. No six or eight double A's needed. Just pop four double A's in there and the thing just clicks in place like so. So kind of a different style. Kind of sits down real nice too. Antennaless. This is kind of a new trend now too. Obviously there's antenna but it's just built into the in internals of the radio. Nice so you have nothing to break off, nothing to worry about there. So the buggy itself, take a look at this. I mean, this is pretty, like I said, it's pretty unique. Baja style buggy. You got the scale lights, scale wing, the scale roll cage. The Lexan really hugs the chassis real tight. And the chassis is something to take a look at too. Um, it's a twin vertical plate aluminum chassis. So instead of a plastic tub, we have two aluminum plates running the length of the, the whole buggy. And they everything kind of bolts to them. They make it real rigid. You can see this thing's real narrow to mimic that Baja style. Well, those plates make sure there's not a, load, a whole lot of torquing or bending that's allowed. So it just kind of adds some strength and rigidity. You have things I'm noticing right away, an aluminum top plate for the rear shock tower to add strength. Um, instead of just upper turnbuckles here, we have upper A-arms, I guess you'd call these if you'd like to. These guys right here. Instead of just a tie rod, you got a whole strength piece. that Again, that just adds to durability. One more, one more thing to uh, increase the strength of it. You have steel adjustable turnbuckles front and rear. So you can fine tune all your uh, alignment settings and suspension. These are oil filled shocks. You can adjust the spring preload on them, of course. So really good dampening, just like we see on most of our RCs. And the driveline. Good old Arma, they're following suit with all the other companies. This is an all steel driveline. So we have all steel internals, a sealed fluid differential. You don't usually get that with companies. So you can change the differential fluid and change how much traction you have in the rear, the handling of the vehicle. And because it's all metal and we got metal dog bones, metal out drives, and ball bearing supported, of course you can upgrade to the brushless motors later on if you choose to. But there again, they're over engineering it. They're making it bulletproof so that you can run a lot higher powered stuff later on. Speed controller sits right out front, so it's got good airflow. Uh, the receiver box is tucked in there, and I did note on the water on the box it's called water resistant and dust proof. So they're not necessarily saying waterproof, but in the way that it's designed, you know, you can get this thing fairly wet and not have to worry about it. But no RC car is waterproof. I mean, if you want something that's waterproof, you're going to dunk in the water, buy an RC boat. That's what they're there for. But this thing would have no problem taking on a bunch of water, getting in the mud, getting dirty. I mean, that's what it's made for. Uh, twin bell crank steering setup with a built-in saver. That's a nice standard to see. So you got real positive steering control on it. And then this is kind of interesting. So we got the sticker on the bottom here, right? This is just telling you you got a nice two-year warranty on it. But if I peel this off, the battery hatch is on the bottom. So because of the style of this, you know, they got all this Lexon, this scale Lexon really bolted down to the chassis on the outside. You'd, you'd have to unbolt that and be kind of cumbersome to get to the battery. So the hatch is on the bottom and they have this really handy dandy little holder that holds the body clip in. You pull the pin out and now you got your huge battery tray space in there. I mean, I'll try to get you a close up of this later too, but take a look at that. Pretty good size. I mean, you're going to be able to fit any light bulb you want if you choose to go that way. Any stick pack, I'm pretty sure you could fit a seven cell in there. That's a pretty long space, extremely wide, a lot of battery options. And because it's surrounded by, you know, two aluminum plates, 
feel free to put a soft case in there. It's pretty well protected. You won't have to worry about uh, damage to your battery. That's for sure. So again, they put this whole little design in here so that you won't lose the clip. You put the pin in, and it's a done deal. And it just makes it easier to get to. That's kind of unique. And the power switch is hidden up in the body here. That's kind of cool. I like that. Just gets it out of the way. Those cumbersome power switches are never fun to deal with. Um, other things I'm noticing, we got a semi-clear gear cover. So you can kind of see your mesh and see what's going on in there. Of course, it's got a slipper clutch built into it. We have buggy tires, pretty soft rubber, so you get some good bite. Asphalt, you'll be able to go in grass, loose dirt, and things like that. Nice motor guard on the back, so if you, of course, you know you're going to be doing wheelies and jumping and whatnot, and you come down on the back, instead of hitting the motor and screwing with your mesh or damaging the motor, you got that little guard there to protect it, so that's kind of nice to see. So I really got nothing else to say. I just want to take it out and run it. This thing looks like it'd be a hot little setup. We'll probably throw a lipo in it right away. Like I said, you can run a six or seven cell NICAD, nickel and hydrate if you'd like to. With the ARMA vehicles, you get an online support thing. So you go online and register and they send you a whole care package, if you will, um, to give you a little more information on the manual. If you need support, they have an online form. So that's kind of cool. A little more, I guess, after the sale service that the company's offering you. Um, one last thing I will point out that I almost missed. Aluminum plate on the front here. This is really nice. Um, you know you're hitting stuff, right? You're going to be jumping, coming down. This aluminum plate comes all the way up to the front here, so it's going to take the brunt of the hit instead of having a plastic bulkhead. That's pretty neat. I like to see that kind of stuff. So that's the Armor Raider. Again, two-wheel drive, 10th scale buggy with a lot of scale looks to it. It's a hot setup. We're going to take it out, give it a little run, see how we like it, let you guys know what's going on. If you have any more questions about this car, feel free to comment on down below. While you're at it, check out our brand new website. It's rcnightmare.com. Appreciate you watching this video, guys. We'll see you soon.